Hi all, Martin Brown here. In this video, we are going to look at some of the patterning methods in NDN. We will do sample patterning on two different structures. The first model we will look at is this triple cone. Notice there are no radial cables in this model, so there is no constraint on where the seams have to go. We will go into pattern and first check that our fabric width is defined. It's defined right here. Okay, so let's simplify the view to just what we are going to work on. There are several ways to add patterns into a model. One method is just by clicking on the membrane elements like this. Okay, we have defined five patterns. In NDN, we have two methods to flatten the pattern. One is purely geometric, where we unfold these triangles down into 2D. The other is more advanced. We call it squashing. Here we use the finite element analysis features that are in NDN to analytically flatten the fabric into the best possible, most accurate patterns. Another advantage of using squashing is that we are given a very objective way to measure the accuracy of the patterns, which is the shear strain that occurs between 2D and 3D. Now let's look at one of the automatic methods in NDN. We will use the auto region method. Here we locate the seams on each side of a region. NDN then automatically locates the seams such that the patterns are all equal width. Now we'll do the other side. And now the last area. Okay, now let's work on the second cone. We'll pattern it the same way. But notice, due to the geometry, the seams did not line up between the two cones. This is not a problem. We will just move the seams on one of the cones so they line up. And we can pattern the rest of the cone all in one shot. And then we'll repeat the process on the last cone. The seams look nice. We can do a review of the flattened patterns. Zoom in and walk around them, have a look. This is our model from the Arizona State University project. It has quarter symmetry, so we only have to work on one part. It's a different kind of model because it has radial cables. We need to make sure that there are seams along every cable. We'll work on the upper cone first. So all we have to do is define the regions to start and stop at the cables. Then the seams lay out as we need them. And here's the completed model. Thanks for watching.